waking in that. I think we have our own. So, all right, um, you were talking about direct action and the direction that you thought uh, Smoke Down was going, maybe rather like getting it back on track, kind yeah. of what your original intentions were. Can you talk a little bit more about that, the direct action? Well, you know, the direct action idea of mass civil disobedience is, for the first four Smoke Downs, was great. I mean, everyone came out, smoked, there was no fear. You know, then we had Smoke Down 5, where I was arrested and put in federal detention, Smoke Down 6, where the riot cops came. You know, and Smoke Down 7 was kind of this, you know, hey, we'll shake your hand, we'll, I'll shake yours, no one will be violent. You know, for the, you know, but I feel like the cops and the feds are actually winning this battle with us right now, you know, because people are intimidated to go down and smoke in a mass civil disobedience fashion. And that's what made Smoke Down beautiful. I mean, you guys were at the first four. I mean, you know, the shit eating grins on your guys' face, you know, Dustin yeah, Slaughter yeah. came up to me and said, you know, it never gets old. And now it's become such a strategic affair. And it's become such... Back and, and forth. Back and forth. You know, I feel like uh, if we weren't, if we didn't win the first four, I feel like we were in a best of seven series to a certain extent. You know, um, sorry. Uh, we, we can... Yeah. But I feel like, you know, we were in a best of seven series and now it's four, you know, four for us, two for them, and one draw, you know? And, and what I'd like to do is, you know, kind of bring this back to putting them on their heels and being like, well, there's a 200 people here smoking marijuana. If you want to arrest a couple of them, fine. But this, you know, the last one, only 15 people smoked marijuana. You know, they had their target audience, you know, all locked in. And I feel like we really need to go back to the idea of mass civil disobedience because at its genesis, that's what smoke down prohibition was all about. So you mentioned, and actually, um, I guess it was Rachel. She was talking about somebody who came in. And they came willing to pay their citation and pay their citation. It was their first time down there. They were worried about, it and they actually ended up getting cited. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and seeing that, I mean, that'll probably happen at least several of the occasions. I don't know what everybody's case disposition is. In your case, um, you're gonna end up paying some fines, correct? I mean, I'm gonna pay, you know, about seven hundred, eight hundred dollars worth of fines, which is well beyond the hundred and seventy-five dollar fine if you're smoking marijuana on federal that's property. What, that's what I want to focus on. Is so the $175, even though it's not much, I mean, for one thing, a lot of people at Smoke Down don't have it, but is it really the kind of civil disobedience do you think that you're wanting to engage going and paying a fine? Or do you, do you would you encourage people, or just I mean, do you want to maybe just bring up the idea of taking these kind of things to court? I say to people that if there is enough of us, what are they really going to do? And that is truly the idea, is overwhelming the state. You know what I mean? Um, putting them in a position through mass civil disobedience, that they don't have the chance to arrest people because there's too many of us. Um, it's actually kind of frustrating. Like they, before they actually, the, the, when they they really clamped down when they arrested you and Gokesh, yeah. and side of the what, five others, but you right. and Gokesh spent several days, five days, six days in jail? Yeah. So, you know, uh, I don't want to even, it sucks that we even have to instruct people about this fine now because it wasn't a problem before, but now you have people coming to us and saying, hey, well, what should I do about my fine? Or can you help me pay my fine? If I had a, a slush fund, Ken, with 50 grand in it, I would pay everyone's fine that comes down there. You are taking a risk to come down there and do that. But if you come do that with three other friends, there's going to be a pretty good chance that they're not going to catch all four of you smoking marijuana and they're not going to be able to give away citations. Part of their game and the, the winning right now is by charging people with, you know, this $175 fine. You know, I would tell you to come down to smoke down prohibition with the idea that you're not going to be arrested. And if you are going to be arrested, then we have lawyers that we can talk and send to you or you can maybe go and fight it. But though, mass civil disobedience isn't paying fines, if, yeah. to answer your question. So I guess that's, that is, that is my you know, man, So, just a real, just because it will keep these short attention spans, yeah. including mine and yours. Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, so, and, you know, so regarding this, maybe if you know, people are worried about their bail, so they're going to need help. Maybe if people are going to be doing it as a group, as far as mass civil disobedience, maybe you guys have a WePay account together. You raise six hundred dollars for um, enough uh, herb of the earth to split between three of you right. to pass at four twenty or whatever the time may be, whatever time zone, yeah. and enough to pay your your citations if that's what you're going to do. Um, but I mean, another thing I'd say, you, know, you said that they're not going to be able to cite all of you just to. Um, I guess maybe a, maybe over cautionary, but don't you're, we're not trying to get away with getting cited either. The idea is you know you take your citation and then you fight it as well because yeah, you're you not paying. You take your citation because you're not doing anything wrong. And we're coming up creative ideas for trying to raise money for this. We didn't think we'd be in this position, but we're thinking about doing like a smokeathon where we maybe raise some money that we could put towards your fine if that happened to you. 
Yeah. You know, and Wider has a link up now too. Uh, yeah, Mike Wider from um, I guess it's he's PA veterans for Mil Mil legalization and uh, Billy Normal and the Panda Girl. Yeah, and we will do our best to help people. We're hoping that no one gets cited anymore. And I think that's the next push with the cops is let us have our moment. You know, let us have our moment of marijuana reflection, and then you know. Don't, don't cite anyone, you know, and then let us move on. We'll t treat you with the same kind of respect. So, Smoke Down 8, it's coming up. I don't know if you want to give a, any kind of rough date, but just what, what can people expect? Uh, Smoke Down next? 8, we will hope to respect, to, we will hope to expect a return to mass civil disobedience. Our 420 action, you can Google Smoke Down Prohibition 420 highlights. It was the most glorious day of my life. There was hundreds upon hundreds of people smoking marijuana. Um, we want to return to hundreds of people smoking marijuana. There is safety in numbers, and this is what we're trying to get back to on August 31st, when we will be staying alive down at the, the Liberty Bell uh, with our uh, first disco-themed action. So what time should they put on their boogie shoes to be at Independence Mall? 3.30 p.m. We're going to go back to the same old 3.30, 4.20 smoking, 4.45 getting out of there. This is an action, it's a protest, and we wanna go and we wanna protest and we leave. We don't wanna be bogged down with these things. It was nice to do the sit-in, four hours, show everyone that we're there, you know, that we mean business. Now it's back to direct action. And who are you and what do you represent? My name is Nikki Allen Poe. I represent a group of concerned citizens in Philadelphia called